Oh, Johnny, how did it go? Nisha, Johnny is back. Mm, well... Hey! How yeah. was it? Did you get it? Uh, he didn't say yes, and he didn't say no. I so. bet you'll get it. I can feel it. You know, I've been praying for you, Johnny, and I know my prayers have been answered. Uh, they might have worked. I also met this guy today, um, after the interview, and he gave me his business card, and he was saying that he runs a company. There might be, you know, something going. Now, that's what I call fate. It's not fate, it's just a bit of luck. You make your own luck, Johnny. Get this, I also got another phone call today, and they're telling me that there's another interview. Oh, that's amazing. Well done, smart boy. <laughs> Johnny, do you know I am really, really, really proud of you, just for trying. I'm really proud. I know, Mum. I don't think you know, Johnny. We are more proud than you can think. Right. Well, I'm going to phone the company and try to arrange a meeting. Have you eaten? No, I haven't, but... Maybe after I get changed? Mm, go. Right. <sighs> He's becoming such a man. Can you believe it? Yes, I can. With you around, I can. Hello? Hi there. Hi, this is Johnny Shoma calling. Yes, may I please uh, speak with Sanjay? Um, Sanjay's in a meeting right now. Can I take a message? Right, well, he uh, gave me his business card yesterday and um, wanted me to come in for an interview. Okay, I'll just check his diary. One moment, please. Um, we have you in the diary for tomorrow, Johnny Sharma. Um, are you available tomorrow? Um, yes, I am. What time? Uh, 4.30. And the address? Right. Okay, that well, sounds perfect. Excellent. We'll see you tomorrow. Okay. Thank you. <sighs> On third time lucky, you can do it. Okay. Ready, ready. Okay, okay. Okay. Oh, you're not doing it properly. No, nah, you're rubbish. Your phone. Thank you. You alright, Edge? You alright, mate? You, um, you look like you've been told off by your mum. It's not funny. Well, it's your fault. You should keep in touch with her. Well, I've been busy recently, OK? Yet I'm able to keep in touch with her. Yes, and you also managed to avoid telling her that you've been staying here this whole time. I wonder what she would do if she found out. Wouldn't. I might. <coughs> Definitely wouldn't, mate. You're supposed to be on my side. Sorry, bro. Look, OK, you seriously need to keep in touch with her more often. You guys had a great relationship back home. Do not ruin it. OK, I know, and you're right, and I will make more of an effort, OK? Right, I'm always right. And modest, it would seem. Anyway, the story is that you're staying here for a couple of days. You're just visiting me, OK? Any reason why? Yes, because it sounds better than telling her you just turned up and you don't seem to want to leave. Oh, but, uh... Ben tells me that you're going away for a meeting. Yeah. Does this meeting have to do with a certain Simran? Oh my god, you and Simran are going away with each other! <laughs> Guys, it's not that big a deal. It's just for a day. Come on, it's, yeah. it's just a meeting. Adjie, mate, you are such a pimp. You know what happens in Ireland stays in Ireland, yeah? Yeah? Uh, I think it's Vegas. Same thing, mate. Look, OK, don't get sidetracked. Remember that you're going to see an important publisher. Do not mess it up. Promise me. Well, thank you, Archie, for keeping my nerves calm. And I won't get sidetracked. I didn't plan on it, and I won't mess it up. Sidetracked? So is that what you're calling it these days, <sighs> bruv? Ooh, AJ! <laughs> what? You think we're such idiots? I don't care what you think. Come up with whatever theories you want. I am just going for the day, for a meeting, and Simran happens to be the person who set this meeting up for me. It's for my future. Ooh, AJ! Can you just stop? Doing that! You know, Mum almost caught you out. But she didn't. But she almost did. Maybe it's an idea that you think about staying at your place. I thought this was her place, innit? No, I mean the place that our parents think she's staying at. University. I, I, I don't think there's any need to do that, mate. Archie, imagine what would happen if they found out. What? Y your parents? Yeah, Mum and Dad. Our parents. 
the ones who were paying for her to be staying at university while she's staying here, our parents who were paying for her tuition fees while she's hardly been studying. But I am studying. Yes, but hardly the amount you should be. I I've let it slip for a while now, but really, you need to sort something out. Imagine what mom and dad would say if they found out they would go mental. Simran, I made this drink for you. Ginger and lemon, really good for you. Thanks, Mum. You're gonna have to move some paper so I can put it down. Ah, uh, um... <laughs> what is all this anyways? Uh, just some paperwork for Graham. Oh, this is the man you and that Ajay boy are going to meet. <laughs> okay, you can stop calling him that Ajay boy, Mum. Sorry. And yes, this is who we're meeting. Uh, I just have some uh, contracts for him to sign and other things we need to go through before Ajay starts pitching. But, Simran... Why are the two of you going all the way to Belfast? Why can't he just come here to meet you? <laughs> because he's a very busy man, Mum. I can't go asking an important client to change all of his plans and come back to London. He just left. But you can ask him to change all his plans to meet with Ajay. Mum. I'm just being honest. Does he have all this time to be wasting it on Ajay? It's not wasting it. This is a good opportunity for both Ajay and Graham. Graham is no fool, okay? He knows what he's doing. Simran, would he still give him the time of the day without your recommendation? Actually, yeah. Graham has seen Ajay's work. He likes it. I know, Graham, he wouldn't waste his time over nothing. Not, not even for me. Hmm. Look, there's no need to worry, okay? I'm only gone for the day. I leave early tomorrow morning and I come back later the same evening. Uh, why don't you call Raj as well? Why? why? Just take him with you. <laughs> why, so you can act as some sort of bodyguard? Mum, uh, just... Simran, if you want me to stop worrying, then I have really bad news for you. I can't. I'm your mother. And I'm not 12 anymore. But you'll still always be my little Simran. And I can't... Just stop worrying about you or being protective over you. I know. Don't forget that. I know. Tonight, uh, why don't we watch one of your old Bollywood movies? I'll go through all that torture for you. <laughs> <laughs> your sarcasm aside, I think I would actually like that. <laughs> good, okay, good. Um, listen, I, you pick the film. I'm just going to make a very quick call to Graham. Okay. Pick up the phone, Raj. They left ages ago. They're probably there by now. Where? Raj, they've gone to Belfast. <sighs> they've gone to Belfast together. It's fine to be nervous, okay? But you, you have to trust me when I say Graham loves your work and, and if I wasn't 100% sure about this, I would never set this meeting up. You could always stay here. Um, where? Yeah, there's plenty of room. Because you haven't got the job and it's okay. We both love you no matter what. Oh, that's what you think. Well, you're wrong because I got it. Great. Well, if you're happy, I'm happy. So, welcome aboard to RJ. To RJ. 